It has been an impressive October, absolutely, the start of our water year. And we do have some more chances for rain, but mainly weak storms here across the region, starting off with a gorgeous picture from sunset tonight. Scott Taylor always taking the best pictures. This is the Great Salt Lake, so beautiful evening. We saw some clearing after the storms, 47 degrees here in Salt Lake City right now with full visibility. Love to see that. Top weather headlines, we do have a chance for some light precipitation, valley rain and mountain snow. As a weak system clips northern Utah through tomorrow, weak disturbance. Then we're warming up. Sunshine does return later this week. And then by Halloween, storm chances with a question mark because we're tracking that possibility of if a system will impact northern Utah late in the day on Halloween on Sunday. But for satellite and radar this afternoon, the bulk of our system is now off to our east, impacting Kansas, Oklahoma, and down into Texas. Here across the Wasatch Front, Salt Lake City area, Partly cloudy sky, Kearns, West Valley, Magna, North Salt Lake, Bountiful, Sandy, Draper, Bluffdale, Harriman, South Jordan. We've got partly cloudy sky up through Logan and Ogden down into Provo and Lehigh. Those temperatures right now, what it feels like in Provo at 38 degrees, 43 for Logan, 46 for Ogden, 47 for Salt Lake City. When you wake up tomorrow morning, if you are lucky enough to wake up here in Salt Lake City, it'll be about 40 degrees with mostly cloudy sky and we do have that chance for a few areas to be slick tomorrow morning, especially near the Cache Valley. But overnight temperatures will mostly be about 35 to 45 here across Utah, below freezing for Park Cities up in the mountains, certainly quite a bit cooler. And by tomorrow afternoon, those temperatures will be about 50 to 55. So a cool day tomorrow for your Wednesday and then warming up Thursday into Friday. The chance for a few showers this evening into early tomorrow towards the Idaho border. So the Cache Valley area up towards Bear Lake and what you can expect over the next couple of days is mostly just some nice weather eventually returning. But tomorrow will certainly be on the cooler side. Our chance of precipitation here in Salt Lake City over the next week will be mainly isolated into early next week. You'll see those highest chances for rain will be Monday night next week and Tuesday during the day. So keeping our eye on some changes, however, worth noting that it's not being ruled out for Halloween here across the Wasatch Front. But if you're trick or treating on Saturday night here in Salt Lake, those temperatures will be about 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies. So great weather. St. George in the 70s for your seven day forecast. Halloween weekend, low 70s for trick or treating Saturday or Sunday night maybe an and instead of or. And for the Wasatch Front, we're close to 65 for Friday, Saturday, and then by Halloween, 57 degrees for a high here in Salt Lake City.